Hey guys, Wild Willie here, and I've had a ton of questions about cleaning the wick on this thing and keeping it clean burning. When every time I get a question about the indoor kerosene heater, I always reply back, remember to keep your wick clean. People aren't too sure what I'm talking about. Um, there is something about it in the instructions, so that's what I'm going to go over. I'm going to show you real quick how I clean my wick. So let's start by saying your fuel gauge you have to run this a couple times to realize how your fuel consumption is and how much you're going to get out of there using the eco fan you get uh, like a 20 percent increase of efficiency so when mine gets down right when the i can't see the final line anymore on the e i know i got about half an hour to 20 minutes of burn time and then i bring it outside i put it in the garage i put it in the shed and let it keep on burning why this is important because creosote builds up on the wick and if you start burning that creosote on an empty tank, it's going to start producing not only an odor, but carbon monoxide. So I know after 14 hours, when I can't see that line anymore, I know it's time to put it in the garage, put it outside, put it someplace where I can let it burn. And that's key. You're going to continue to let this thing burn till it burns out, till it burns dry. You want this thing to burn completely dry and let it go out on its own. After that happens, let it sit for one hour and then relight the wick. By doing this, you're burning all the creosote off and you're gonna burn it clean. Now, they also recommend just scraping off the wick and that's what I'm gonna show you how to do. So after the last 20 minutes, the last half hour, take it someplace because it's gonna stink, let it burn out, wait an hour, light it again and let it burn for 15, 20 minutes, however long it takes before it go out. So basically, very simple to do this, guys. This takes five minutes to do. I took off the handle, which is nothing. It just slips in the inserts. Unscrewed these two screws right here. Top comes off. This comes off. And you'll see in here, here's your assembly. This here, I always wipe this down because it does get a little bit dusty and stuff on there. Set it aside. Inside there, you'll see your chamber. Raise your wick. You will see my wick is almost as clean as the day I bought it. What you want to look for is make sure your wick is still soft. It's pliable. There's no hard black spots on here. So all I do is I'll get a little damp cloth. I'll wipe the whole inside of there. And if their wick is a little bit hard, I take a toothbrush scrape the wick and then I wipe it down again with a damp cloth in there. You don't want a wet cloth and you don't want to get moisture in there, just a very light damp cloth. Get all the little bits and pieces off the wick. Get my damp cloth, wipe it down and I'm done and it goes back together. That's all there is to it guys. This will ensure after I've just done this with the wick, see my wick is not black it's not dirty this wick is the second year on this wick and it's burned almost daily this kerosene heater I do this after every tank it takes five minutes to do and I'm done and my my kerosene by doing this my wick is gonna last when I light it up there's virtually no odor it's gonna stay burning clean as it burns no odor no carbon monoxide and at the very end, even when I extinguish it, even though I do extinguish it in the garage or in the bathroom or the fan going, there's a little bit of an odor, but it's very minimal. Keep your wicks clean, guys, and your kerosene heater will work flawlessly. Anyways, I'm Wild Willie, and I gotta get trucking. Remember, it's not a question if this shit hits the fan, it's a question of when. So always be prepared.